Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to Sacelli Lorenzo for this one. Amy uses Emergent Sequence to get a forest. Later on, she reaches level 3 in Druid class, and she uses its ability targeting that same forest. For the purposes of this question, we'll say the forest only got one plus one plus one counter on it, and Amy has five lands in total when this happens. What are the forest's power and toughness? Alright, so for this question, you probably already knew that continuous effects get applied in layers. Layer 7 is where power and toughness changing effects happen, and there are specific sub-layers for each different type of power and toughness changing effect. For this question, the important thing to know is that effects that change power and toughness, like with plus one plus one counters, happen after effects that set the power and toughness to a specific number, such as what Emergent Sequence and Druid Class's abilities are both going to try to do. So in this case, we're going to have two different types of continuous effects that set the power and toughness. And like normal, a tiebreaker is going to be what the timestamp is, that is, which effect started first. The 001 from Emergent Sequence is going to have an earlier timestamp, and so it will apply first, then be overwritten by the one from Druid Class that wants to make the forest a 5-5. After that, the forest's final power and toughness will be 6-6 after the plus one plus one counter is factored in. And that's our answer. But some people might be thinking, hey, you know, that ability that you got from Druid class looks an awful lot like a characteristic defining ability. Shouldn't that mean that it applies earlier? And that's an interesting point. Characteristic defining abilities do indeed apply in an earlier sublayer than even effects that set the power and toughness to a specific number, which would change our answer in this case. However, this is not a characteristic defining ability. To see why, we're going to have to take a look at the comprehensive rules. There are several different qualities that a characteristic defining ability has to have. The one that I've highlighted here is the one that the ability from Druid class does not have. You can see that this ability is not printed on the forest, and the forest is not a token, and it's not a text changing ability. That means that this ability does not qualify as a CDA. In case you were wondering, abilities that add or remove abilities to a card do not qualify as text changing abilities. So that's the reason why this one doesn't count. Because it's not a characteristic defining ability, it doesn't get applied in the earlier layer, and the answer that I gave earlier is justified. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again tomorrow for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.